Shh. Good morning. <laughs> it's the Todd and Aaron uh, uh, show at 1200 hours. I had one I Should saw that was that was military good. on you. Yeah. Yeah. There's one lady who says tea time with Todd and Aaron, which I actually kind of liked. No? No, oh, it's sweet, but no. Oh, I like it. No. Okay. Well, we're still, <clears throat> okay, then in the running still is nooner or afternoon delight. So. Afternoon, we, afternoon, we afternoon up, delight. I know, we think of Ron Burgundy every time we start giggling. Yeah. And we can't use the song because we don't have rights to it. Yeah. So why? It really just all goes down the drain yeah. right there. All right, so. It's true. As you all know, I am a math genius. Um, no. Um, I have, I have, I have dyslexia. I play that card all the time, but in this case, it's really true. Well, I suck I don't at remember math. numbers, and that's just the way it's been. I didn't. Ne I never memorized the multiplication tables because it just doesn't stick in my brain. Well, yeah, when your know, brain's reversing numbers, it's not fair. It's not just reversing. That's just that's a upside down that's a in fallacy. between fallacy. Yeah, okay, that's just fine. one little tiny part of dyslexia. Okay. On a wide scale of what the heck's going on. Um, so I have a question for you. Yes, okay. And I want everyone to give me the answer on Facebook. You ready? Now, you know what's humbling about this is that you and I both suck at math. Our daughter Zoe, who's seven, is a genius at she math. Is, she's so very she good. would probably get this in like 30 seconds. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. All right, here it is. All right. Um, a man buys a horse for $60. Okay. He then sells the horse for seventy dollars. All right. Changing his mind, he rebuys that horse for eighty dollars, and then sells the horse for ninety dollars. Did he lose money, break even, or make money? Is the question. Okay, that's even. One more time. And then he sold One it again time. for. Bought a horse for sixty, sold the horse for seventy, rebought the horse for eighty, sold the half horse for ninety. Yeah, he made money. Well, I'm not asking you. This is oh. not for you. This is for them. <laughs> well, but fine. You need to I get, thought I could participate. It's not just, oh, he made money. No, it's uh, you have to tell us how much he made. Do you want me to? Okay. No, yeah. it's for them. I. It's <clears throat> participation on Facebook. So that's the question. You think about it. Start putting your answers up. We're going to uh, check in with you during the show. Wait, maybe he broke even. It's not your question. When did you become so exclusionary? Aaron's always done this. For the last 20 to some years, we did radio together. We would ask a question to the audience, and she would interrupt and give the answer. And you're like, you're in the studio. This is not about you. This is for them to win a prize, because you can't win a prize. You work here. But I, I appreciate your eagerness. I was just trying to help them. That usually happened when we were on the phone with a contestant, and then I would blurt out the answer, thus giving them the opportunity to win. That traditionally was how it played out. You yeah. know why I'm excited today? Why? I got to wear my new hat. Mm, Acme Oyster House, delicious oysters. We went there and on our little trip to New Orleans. And, you know, I had to follow the unwritten rule. is when you're in a place that you go to and you buy a hat, you are not allowed to wear it at hence that oh, that's, location. It screams tourist. Of course not. Yeah, no. It's, People it's, would look at you and go, it's peasant. Tacky. It's very tacky. Uh, so, uh, first time. Thank you. Uh, I made sauerkraut. And I've got... Uh, and you also I've, made Brussels sprouts. Kraut. You have Krauts. to say Brussels. And, and what Brussels we're going to do... Uh, let me show you what... Let me show you what it looks like really quick here. So far, not appetizing. Says you. All right, so... There it is. And that's a sauerkraut. And I thought, why, when I'm doing that, why not make some Brussels kraut? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, we're going to have Daisy, all of us, we're going to try it. And we're going to taste it. You didn't think you punished her enough yesterday with the spam? No. But before we do that, why don't I show you the video on how it was made? Because I've never done idea. this before. And you realize there's no vinegar in it? That is so weird to me still. Let's watch. Hi everyone, it's Todd here, and a lot of you ask, uh, hey Todd, why don't you ever get anything done? It's because I'm distracted easily. I've been on the internet. I fell upon, oh, pickles. Pickles led me to coleslaw. Coleslaw led me to sauerkraut. Sauerkraut? I've never made sauerkraut before. You want to make sauerkraut? Let's do it. First thing to do is cut the cabbage up in quarter-inch slices. Shall we do that? This is boring. Let's make it quick. 
All right, now what we need to do is put this in a bowl. We're going to put it in a bowl because we're going to add the salt on top of it, and we're going to massage the cabbage. This is an adult show, by the way. Massage the cabbage with some sea salt. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put about a tablespoon in there like this. We're going to massage the water out of it. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so I've been doing this for about 10 minutes. What you're trying to do is break it down, and if you can hear the noise, you're breaking it down on a cellular level. How's that? All right, so I think this is about done. And you're trying to get most of the water out so the fermentation can take place. All right, that's, that's good. We need a jar like that. All right, here is the jar. We're going to start filling it with our cabbage. And I didn't know this, but I thought there was vinegar in sauerkraut, but evidently there's not. It's just its own fermentation. 2% salt solution. So that's what? Four cups of unchlorinated water with a teaspoon of salt, not iodized salt, sea salt. What you do is you pack it in here and then you have to pack it down and get as much air out as you can. I always thought there was I always thought there was vinegar in this. But there's not. So you just keep packing it up, packing it up, packing it up. One of the important things it told me, it warned me about was uh, make sure that you don't screw the lid on all the way because this ferments. This is going on top of your countertop. So as it ferments, gases will be released. Much like when you eat sauerkraut, more gases will be released. And the other thing is to make sure that you get about two inches from the top. Two inches from the top, like that because you can't have anything sticking out of the liquid. Now, there's not a lot of liquid in here, and that's why you make the brine solution. So I'm going to call that good. And now, I'm going to add the brining solution till it covers, like this. Now, just to make sure, look at the bubbles coming out. Look at that just like it's supposed to. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the cores that I cut out of the cabbage and I'm going to put them in there just to make sure that it keeps the other cabbage down underneath the solution. Like that. Then I put the top on loosely. And we are good to go. We sit it on the countertop for three days. And there we have sauerkraut. But wait, then I got distracted again. And I thought to myself, if cabbage works, why not Brussels sprouts? I'll spare you the cutting. Wait a minute. The cutting part was way too fun. All right, let's go. There you go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to break these down in the salt solution which is probably a huge mistake, but I'm not going to anyway because I'm kind of tired. And by the way, thanks for all the comments in the last video. I know, uh, someone suggested this is like uh, cooking lessons on meth because I go kind of fast, but let's just review why I'm doing this, okay? So you've got, your, you've got your cabbage, you've got your salt that you put in, you beat it up in the bowl, and you break it down. When you're done doing that, eight to 10 minutes, then you then put it in the jar any extra room on top without liquid, you go ahead and you add a 2% salt solution, which is 2% salt and non-chlorinated water, four cups of that. You fill it to the top just over the cabbage, or in this case, Brussels sprouts, and then you just pour it in, get it up over the top, Make sure nothing is above the liquid. Leave two inches on top and then cover it gently, I say gently, with a loose lid on your countertop 
for three days, and after that you can put it into your refrigerator. And that is cabbage without vinegar. Uh, we'll see if it works out. Uh, I'm not liable for any of this, so, so uh, just uh, be, uh, be careful. Yeah. I've smelled kimchi before. It was more like death, but I could be wrong. The office is really happy about the smell. Yeah. They, they've all made comments. Are you kidding? Steve, our photographer, can't say, that is the worst blank, blank smell I've ever smelled. Yeah. Uh, Which is someone true. else thought that Riley, the dog who lives here, threw up down the heating vent. Oh, gosh. <laughs> We're not setting ourselves up very well for deliciousness. No. I'm afraid. Yeah. I'm going to take your plate because it looks so pretty and show everybody. Okay. Right. Oh, I thought you were going to say, I'll take your okay. plate because it so looks pretty and, and looks better than mine. Right. Right. Daisy, I know, is, mine is there better. a great deal of pickled food in England? I, yes. I say this like it's this yes. far off foreign land mm -hmm. that I have never seen, but it's still curious. About yeah, food. I mean, like in pubs and stuff, you can get yeah. like pickled eggs. And, and, and Branston pickle is a big thing there. You know, the, the, what kind? Um, Branston pickle is like... Brussels sprouts. You have like cheese and pickle sandwiches. It's like a Sorry. brown pickly stuff. And it's oh, yeah. so good. I'll and, bring, when I go to England, I'll bring some back. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, cheese right, and so pickle. As in, the, so as in the good. video, as in the video, um, there's no vinegar in it. And I was just amazed by it. This That's is kind so of what weird. I do. Uh, I get trapped on the internet and I end up making sour crap. And I was looking up trailer parts. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. So so at home, what do you have this with? Just everything, or, or? well, I eat it alone because of Aaron in the garage. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, with the uh, uh, sausages, bratwurst, and you can put it on uh, Reuben sandwiches. Oh, see, that sounds amazing. See, he doesn't that's make awesome. Reuben sandwiches at home. We only have those when we're in restaurants. Yeah, you are super skeptical. You're not. I actually like Reuben sandwiches, but it's just like this is not really a food we would consume on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. This is more of like an experiment. Mm -hmm. This is like a dare. It's mm -hmm. like eating haggis. It's very simple. I wish okay. we all had big rubber gloves and goggles. Yeah. Because we're scientists. But, but after I, that disgusting spam yesterday, anything right. is going to be bad. Everyone on YouTube kept going, why do you hate Daisy? Why are you punishing her? Why do you make her <laughs> Yeah, and someone was like, don't do it. All right. Okay, which one are we starting oh, with? I'm sorry, I stole That's it okay. Uh, with, a, with a regular crowd. The regular crowd. The crowd. It's delightfully translucent. Okay. All right, one, two, three, go. Nailed it. See, I love that. I could eat a I, whole jar. I nailed it. That's I so nailed good. it. You must admit, my mouth is watering like crazy. Yeah, that's good. There's two things. And it's nice and crunchy. It's not that I hate it when something's like really viscous yeah. and limp, and you're like, yeah. This is this is true. That's though. so good. When your mouth starts watering, bad. it means mm -hmm. two things. One, that you're really hungry, and this next thing is you're about to throw. up. Fortunately no. for you, it's the it's the that's okay. yummy. That's super right. yummy. This was the experiment. No, she's taking a palate cleansing mm -hmm. sip of her Red Bull. This mm -hmm. is this is the experiment because I went. Well, if you do it with cabbage, why not do it with Brussels sprouts? No, I'm crazy about Brussels sprouts. Basically, little mm -hmm. baby cabbage. You like them too? Yeah, I love them. One, two, three. Aaron's not a fan. That was a bad. There's red pepper flake in this. And I love Brussels sprouts. That is not the right combination. I prefer I see the cabbage. I do too, but it's definitely I interesting. I was diplomatically mm -hmm. said. Yeah. And you didn't spit anything else, so that was lucky. I think it's partly because of texture, because the cabbage is nice and, and um, mm -hmm. crispy, whereas the Brussels sprouts I'm are go a bit find if Mike likes kind it. of plumpy. Well, I tried to eat one of the actual sprouts, and then yeah. but the inside part swells in a troubling way as you're trying to bite into it and then the leaves don't really mitigate the horror of the gushy that is a bit troubling interior. and i'm not so keen on the heat as well Todd loves heat maybe that's why yeah. But yeah i think you either have pickled or you have heat i'm not sure you need both right the cabbage i could eat like yeah i could eat a whole jar of that the brussels not so much well i'm not we were just talking about the heat um, the flake not so not keen. a good thing that you maybe you just good. need pickled or heat, not both. But mm. if you laid out in the Brussels sprouts, because I, I saw Brussels sprouts just being pickled like pickles, the whole thing, and it's like so pretty. But mm. if you put out like antipasto and a bunch of crazy, you know, what do you think? Mike runs the show. Mike okay. vomited onto the plate. I'm, I'm very happy with the sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you two but feel that Brussels were? The Brussels need ketchup. What? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> because they taste, they taste awful. They either need ketchup 
barbecue sauce. How cheese. about a flamethrower? No, 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 no. I'm even can't. thinking maybe squirt cheese. Squirt Anything cheese. Anything to hide the That's flavor of those choice. Brussels sprouts. They're hideous. Okay, Mike said officiate now. They were drunk food, so. I'm not eating that. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you with your angry southern lady voice. <laughs> wow. I don't know where that came from. I don't know, but it was no, awesome. I'm not going to do that. Todd can do it. Yeah. All right. Todd, take one for the team. Sriracha, huh? <laughs> Again. If that's going to be quite spicy. Let's start that sriracha you got there. You know, Mike really doesn't have much of a palate. I was kind of thinking he would enjoy it. Uh, I was apparently. Cheese, what? Oh, oh, he can hear us. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mike. That's true. He's he's chewing frantically and in a slightly you know, the panicked part. way. You can't taste the Brussels sprout. Well, I guess there's that. So, experiment. I give the I give the cabbage a solid nine out of ten. Really good, Brussels. That was like a zero. Oh, I was going to say a, a, a generous three. Really? Because I mean, you have to rate it next to. I'm going to throw up if I finish the bite. It looked good. Mm. And that's where it, in the jars they shook up in the car on the way here before they were just like clear liquid and it was beautiful. Give them all away as Christmas presents, then you don't no. have to worry about it. Yeah, People I don't no one like. ever talked to us again. I know. <laughs> Instead that, of fruitcake. But you know what? Even for me, and I don't like pickled food. The sauerkraut was good, right? It really was good. Nice I'll, texture. I'll take a whole jar of that. And, and I'll tell you that, that I tasted it about mm. a week ago and it didn't taste this way. Isn't it wasn't. That it didn't have any sharpness to it. And it's great that it stayed crispy too. That, yeah. that, that was really, a big deal. That was a big. That's really good. And I used yeah. big, I used bigger chunks too. You got to get out of here. I got to get out. Of oh here. yeah, that's right. I got to do my news. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna force down those Brussels sprouts. Are you really gonna eat? Them? Look, you okay, this isn't a, this isn't a dare. Okay, you you can just throw them away. I want to empower you with the knowledge that you can actually. Abandon this experiment, knowing that you can rest on your laurels with your sauerkraut. I would can food properly, except I don't want to kill people, and I've never canned before. Cheryl now, is busy laughing at you right now. And I know a lot of you out there want to take me under your wing, and we shall can together, and maybe we'll do that. Oh, you can always try that. Maybe we'll do that. A group canning session? What would you call that? I'd be with the guys in the living room watching TV. It'd be great. And I'd be with the girls. Women. So it's pretty much like always at, like at always. our gatherings. Yeah. That's pretty much how it works. Yeah. All right, let's get some information. All right, Daisy's up in the Gephardt Daily Newsroom. She is brought to you by Always Black Friday, where it is 30 to 75% off every day, 12th Street in Ogden. Also by Utah Credit Approval. Bad things happen to good people, but that doesn't mean you don't deserve a reliable automobile. This is something they can help you with, often within the same day at utahcreditapproval.com. Also, all Utah Plumbing, Heating, and Air. They've got 24-hour emergency service. You can check out with them at allutahplumbing.com. Daisy, my dear, what is going on today? making news on Thursday, March 22nd on GebhardtDaily.com. An Emory County man is on the mend after spending hours trapped in a slot canyon with a broken leg. 26-year-old Brigham Holiday told his father Tuesday morning he was going hiking in the Ding and Dang Canyon area. When he didn't return by midnight, family members called for help. Rescue teams from Emory County found Holiday's car near a trailhead about 2 a.m. Hours later, they found Holiday himself about two miles into the canyon. The injured hiker was ultimately strapped to a stretcher and lifted 160 feet to safety in a rescue helicopter. Unified police are asking for the public's help locating a dangerous robbery suspect who held up the Phillips 66 in Midvale Sunday. Police say the lone suspect walked into the service station at 8370 South State Street about 1.30 p.m. and promptly pointed a handgun at the clerk's face while demanding cash. The suspect then drove off in a dark-colored sedan and was last seen heading west on Princeton Avenue. He's described as Caucasian in his mid-30s, heavy set with a short, scruffy, auburn-colored goatee or beard. He was wearing a camouflage jacket that appeared to say Newman Construction on the back. Detectives from the UPD Violent Crimes Unit and FBI Violent Crimes Task Force ask anyone with information to call 385-468-9819. And Governor Gary Herbert has signed a bill giving terminally ill patients a right to try medical marijuana. House Bill 195, sponsored by Republican Brad Doar, Republican Orem, 
allows Utahns with less than six months to live to give cannabis a try. The governor also is expected to sign a companion bill that would have the Utah Department of Agriculture and Food grow the marijuana for Utah patients. And time now for the Wasatch Front Weather, brought to you by our most wonderful sponsors at Brio Technologies, Utah's top audiovisual specialists. And also by our brand new sponsors at Magic Wash, home of the long-lasting ceramic car wash with outlets in South Ogden and Layton. It's going to be a windy day across the Wasatch Front as a new storm system makes its way into Utah. Expect wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour Thursday, along with a few scattered rain showers. The same holds for Friday, although it won't be quite as windy. Temps will hover in the 60s and upper 50s for the next few days under mostly cloudy skies. That's it for now. For more news and weather 24-7, go to GearParkDaily.com. For now, Todd and Aaron, back to you. All right, thank you, Daisy. And uh, well, right now, tell me something good brought to you by. Uh, always Black Friday, 30 to 75% off every day. By the way, you can go online and check out their stock there before you go up to their store at 12th Street in Ogden. I'm going to give you every person's fantasy who owns a 4 by 4 This is totally something I would see you doing, by Chicka the way. Chicka wow, wow. Chicka wow. All right, so basically what's going on here, this is in Michigan, and a Ford Fiesta was driving down the freeway. This is at night. Are there any Ford Fiestas left? There's one less. Apparently. I had no idea they existed. So. A Ford Eagle SUV crossed the center line, head-on collision. This is Michigan, isn't it? As this you can see so here. Much. Everyone's uh, Ford. Yeah, and so bad situation. Oh, my situation. God, that's on fire. So basically what happened is the Jeep owner, Mr. Ralph Gills, must have done something good in a past life because he is being blessed with an opportunity because he's got a jumped-up Jeep ready to go, and so he stopped his car and as he did, he was seen there, he could not open the door. And so what he did, there was no fire at this point. And then Mr. Gills, Ralph, we'll call him, Ralph said, I'm going to get my Jeep out of the road because you can see it's kind of slippery. So as he backed up, a third vehicle oh, no. came in and hit the, the one with the two people, the Ford Fiesta, into the wall again. Oh, no. And then it caught fire. Not the SUV, yeah. not the Fiesta with the two people in it. Okay, so now, but we're still at a car that's collided with another one that's now on fire, trapping the two people in the other car. So Am I clear? This, yes, so the, the car with the two people is close to the car on fire. Like, it's going to go up next. Yeah, they're connected, I'm sure. This is when Ralph felt a tingling in his loins because he had been given the opportunity. He actually said the words, I have a Jeep. I have a bumper. Drops a thing in the four-wheel drive, goes up, gets enough of a chunk, sneaks up behind the Fiesta, and pushes it to safety. Away from the fiery SUV. Boom! No way. Then they get them out, and the, the fire department comes, and they, they help break the car apart so they get the people up. You know, it's interesting because Ralph was talking about that on his Facebook page, and he was saying, you know, the real heroes, he goes, after sitting there for two hours and filling out forms and doing all that stuff, he realized th the real heroes really are the first responders because they have to go through all of this intense danger day after day. And he said, my hand was shaking right, after the initial right. thing, and I'm, like, trying to do stuff. And he goes, they do that all the time. And he said it's amazing to him that they could go through all of that and still function. But he did it. He saved those people's lives. You know he patted his Jeep. You know that, right? He goes, I would pat his Jeep for that. Is this like Babe when you say a way to meet Babe? That sounds doesn't it? Hmm. That'll do, Jeep. <laughs> That'll, That'll do, Jeep. Jeep. All right, so uh, oh, we should talk about, um, we have a, a deal we're doing with Magic Wash, and this is two locations, right? Yeah, and as a matter of fact, I am looking at it right now. You're looking and at a text right now? Yeah, we're doing the grand opening next weekend because of all the snow and rain this weekend, so it seemed problematic. Now, what's different about this car wash? First of all, they custom blend their soaps and such to make it last longer and keep the dirt off your car. They call it a ceramic car wash because basically they can keep it cleaner longer. I'm thinking we might have to do a test between the two of our cars. Yes. Like, uh, you go to a crappy usual one, and I'll go to Magic Wash, and then we'll test to see who stays cleaner longer. You're going to the crappy one? No, you are, honey. So, because I want to go on the little conveyor belt with the kids. they got a new floating thing that's really cool. Plus, Plus the kids the, will love it. And they have those vacuums for your, the interior of your car that will like literally suck the carpet inside out. They're that D good. So it's very a, exciting. Don't have a pen. Yeah, don't do stick it. your face. Uh, so, yeah. so go ahead and do that. All so right. it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be at the South Ogden location. Right. And as a matter of fact, we're giving away passes. This is cool. Right now we have a 
30 day pass so you get to have your car what? washed. That's usually like for 30 days. We're going to give it away Every right now. Day. And then you can pick it up next Saturday. So all you need to do is just mention Magic Wash somewhere on the Facebook page. Right. If you're on Gephardt Daily or Gephardt Approved, just go ahead and mention it there. If you're on the Todd and Aaron Facebook page with all the girls and guys here, just yep. mention Magic Wash and you enter to win. All right. So Mike, the man in the booth who likes the sauerkraut, would you show us the math question again today? Um, and once again, this was a fifth grade question in math. Now, let's go through it. When we're not going to give you the answer yet. And when you have your answer, just go ahead and put it on Facebook. And basically, it goes like this. A man buys a horse for $60. He sells the horse for 70 Then he buys the horse back for 80 He's a very confused man. And then he sells the horse for 90 Okay, I got in it. In the end, how much money did he make or lose or did he break even? So we need the amount. Now, Basically, Aaron, very indecisive Aaron man. has filled it out, right? Yes, I know. So I'm going to put it up here. We're not going to look at it. Okay. And we're going to see, because I do have the correct answer here. Do you? I do. And mine was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to see what you guys, guys are going to come up with. Interesting. Hey, just, just really quickly, you want to tell them about Christopher's. And they <gasps> yes. Can, they can go to a prime steakhouse, Christopher's. Linen, oh, no. linen tablecloths, but not snooty. And side dishes that are incredible. Oh, the garlic mashed potatoes and then the cheesecake for dessert. But here's the deal. It's, it, we picked literally the highest rated steakhouse in the state because we wanted like the really coolest one and they said yeah you can invite people over for dinner they can bring three friends and everyone just gets to reconnect and get taken care of so if you would like that all you have to do is mention Christopher's just stick it somewhere on our Facebook page same way as always we're really simple because let's not make this complicated because then we'd have to pay attention and we don't want to so we'll draw a winner on Friday and boom you're on your way all right what's going on this weekend guess who's gonna tell you her and Daisy many things that's awesome it's coming up next the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by UtahCreditApproval.com. Bad things happen to good people, but you can get your credit back on track and get a reliable automobile by giving them a call. 801-404-7201. And also by Columbus Travel with spectacular deals on cruises and all-inclusive vacations. Go to ColumbusVacations.com. And all Utah Plumbing, Heating, and Air, where they have a winter special that they can check out your furnace and make sure that it's operating efficiently, saving you hundreds of dollars in energy bills. Just go to AllUtahPlumbing.com. Did you know that you can catch the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream on Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, and GephardtDaily.com any time of the day or night? It's the morning mountain. It's the afternoon mountain. It's the noon. Isn't it weird? It's the, it's the like, lunchtime oh cam of something. Yeah, it's, I guess it's raining. But it was funny because I watched the news last night and they were like, oh, tomorrow's going to be so bad. There's going to be rain. And we're all going to die. And, yeah. and, and, and be careful if you're commuting. And then it's like there's like four raindrops and a tiny little puff of wind. What, what is their obsession with weather that they have to make it like we're all going to die? I mean, I yeah. know they want to talk about it, but remember the last snowstorm that was like the storm of the century. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, okay, we had some thunderbenders, thanks. But yeah. no, one, no one was frozen yeah. in a snowdrift. Or... And I mean, it's a tiny little bit rain out there, but I mean, it's not like disabling. You know? I think they all need to move back east where they're actually having the polar vortexes and the, what was the, it was the something bomb? Oh, yeah. The weather yeah. bomb, the yeah. something that explodes. Yeah. That's severe. Mm-hmm. It's, it's been rather mild. Isn't it nice that oh, it's well. nearly spring there? I think you also have that, but I'm going to give it to you just in oh, case yeah, you don't. Oh, yeah, perfect. Thank you. I do. Because there is lots, lots of many of awesomeness. Lots of nice things coming up this weekend. Now, yeah. Traditionally, I always take the kids to the Holy Festival of Colors mm-hmm. down at Spanish Fork. That's where they have the beautiful temple, and it's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's going to be really wet. Yeah, now, is it supposed to snow? Yeah. Okay. And it's too bad. It's wonderful. And you know what? It may be the thing that we all hear about of, oh, we're all going to die. And then it turns out to be two flakes and you have a great time. Yeah. So, yeah. But they have like free musicians, the amazing, I mean, the experience and the dancers. It's so fun to introduce mm-hmm. your kids. They have all kinds of authentic food for sale. And then, of course, the. Yeah, and, which I've never been. I mean, it sounds amazing. Get out. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's, it sounds great, but I've, I've just never done it. I'll have to bring in a picture. I took Zoe and three of her friends and I let them just get nailed. And then I put them all in a little starship and took a picture and said this is what happens when you trust me with your children and it's like when they were so happy I mean they're just 
Look at it. Zoe, you need to be quiet, sweetheart. We are on the show. (laughs) This is mom's super subtle thing of daughter is sick and daughter is here at work with us. I forgot about the light. Do you take your own, like, chalks and stuff? Or do they give you, I mean... You can buy them, though, or you can bring your own. Okay. So if you like ordering them online, you can do that. Easy peasy. It Uh just really depends on what you want. But it's so much fun. it's gorgeous. Aside from the color, though, there really is something about the the Krishna temple. It's very beautiful, and the the monks are incredibly kind. I mean, Mm -hmm. because I'm sure there's all all of the moron Utahs, what are you saying? Say it again. And Mm -hmm. they're so patient. Mm -hmm. And they're so nice. So it really feels like an honor to be there. It's really cool. And is it two days, or is it just Saturday? I believe it is. I think they do some elements on Friday, but it's primarily Saturday. Okay. So, but yeah, like I said, there's crafts. Oh, they say free hugs. And it's oh. the world's happiest transformational event because that's what it was meant for. It was the the end, the signifying of the end of the long winter, and then the burst into spring and the renewal of self. So mm-hmm. amazing! Maybe, maybe I'll go down there. All right. So once again, that is the Spanish Fork Krishna Temple. That's 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday. Okay. And then multiple color splatting throughout the day. Yeah. 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 Super fun. And then I st- found one here in Salt Lake City that I really liked. Now, you know how they have all the different kinds of, like, yummy little festivals up at the Utah Museum of Natural History, mm-hmm. thinly disguised as some sort of historical, geographical perspective, yeah. which we really don't care because there's chocolate and cheese. Chocolate and cheese? Right. What could be better? I know. What oh, wine? Yeah, I was going to say chocolate, cheese, and champagne. <gasps> oh, I didn't Maybe you go and have your champagne before, and then you go and have chocolate. That could work. But it's really glorious. They've got all these amazing artisans. Did you know that we have won, there's a couple of artisans here that have won international chocolate competitions with their truffles? I did know that that Utah is particularly good for chocolate. I did not know that. Isn't it? Isn't that random? I know. And so we're gourmet. Who knew? But yeah. So the prices are uh, $9 to $14.00. There's workshop fees where you can learn some of this stuff. The artisans teach you stuff. It's premium farm-to-table delicacies. <laughs> I'm so dorky. I, mean, I don't think I've ever purchased farm-to-table farm before. So you go and you kind of learn about chocolate and cheese, and then you eat reams of chocolate and cheese. Precisely, yes. That sounds amazing. You may want to um, actually sign up online just to make sure you get in. It's 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., but mm-hmm. the workshops look amazing. That's very cheap, too. I, I know, yeah, yeah, for chocolate and cheese and artisans. I'm yeah. excited. All right, so yeah. you always have the cool stuff, though. Yeah, what did I, you find? I haven't eaten one, too. I'm somewhat like chocolate and cheese, but a lot of people have been to this, and I haven't been to it, but it sounds amazing. Um, Todd and I used to host this. It's a lot of fun. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. The Art and Soup mm-hmm. Celebration. Yes. Yeah, so it's taking place at the Salt Palace. It started yesterday, and it's um, it's going today as well, and I think they do a, a lunchtime and then an evening session, so 11 till 2, and five till nine, and it's only twenty dollars. And you oh. you know more about this than me, but some of the soups are to die for. I yeah, mean, just yeah. To die. So you so tw- you sample around, you try everybody's out, you get to vote. Yeah, twenty five local restaurants, including like Red Walk, R- Wed Walk, Waffle Love, Frida, Vosens, Texas de, de Brazil. And then there's 50 Utah artists. So, I mean, I guess you just, it's soups, desserts, and baked goods. And is the premise that you just eat and look around at art? Well, they want you to buy some of the art, too. That would be a plus. But the coolest part is it's for community nursing services. And especially now that we have the explosion of the boomers going into retirement, these people are, like, wildly overloaded because Mm -hmm. these are the people who go out into the community and help your mother or your grandfather or whoever. And so yeah. raising money for them, I think, is like a really crucial thing. And especially 20 bucks. I mean, right? you know, most people can afford that. So you, you get know. to feel morally superior. Yeah. You get to have soup and baked goods, and yeah. you get to look at art and feel like perhaps you have gained some culture. There's nothing wrong with that at all. See? Is that? I know, right? <laughs> that sounds great. I might go tonight, maybe. Um and then the second thing is, I, I picked a free thing just because that's always good and kind of um, always. continuing the tradition of, of St. Paddy's Day. Um, Kevin Flynn Quartet, Impressions of Ireland, which oh, is nice. at the Gallivan Centre tonight. Oh, I want to see that. 7.30, so let's hope that the rain has stopped. The torrential rain. The terrifying downpour of frogs <laughs> and death. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. And that's tonight, Thursday? Yeah, tonight, Thursday. And it it sounds amazing. So it's a program of jazz jazz standards reworked with an Irish lilt. Oh, I like that. Irish standards played with a jazz groove. So kind of jazz, jazz jig mashup. 
I like that. Um, and you've got like a drama, a piano player, an upright bass, which is always, always amazing. Cool. Yes. And then Kevin Flynn himself is saxophone and flute. And, um, you know, Irish music is just like, even if you're in the worst mood, Irish exactly. music just, it just makes you happy. I know, you right? Know? It's just. You can't, you can't have a fiddle and go in there. I'm so depressed. No. And it is. No. I, so there's jigging and there's dancing and I guess there's grooving. Yeah. And if it's raining, it'll be just like Ireland. Yeah. Pretty you know? much it's so, identical, right? And you know what you could do tonight? This is 730. So you could go and do your art and suit and then, um, you know, kind of walk oh. over or drive over to the Galvin Center and, and drop by that. That that's very as cunning. well you know now you've been to Ireland I haven't been in a really long time mm -hmm. what's the what's the most memorable thing for it for you I'm trying to remember it's been so long I remember oh, the sheep I just love yeah the sheep um, I, I a very my college roommate was from a place called Bangor which is near Belfast um, and so I went with her to Fine. visit and I think the thing that I took away is just like I the Irish people are so they're just so so nice, you know. They so are. English people are nice, but we're a little bit, you know, we can be, you know. But you can be reserved, reserved because that's a British thing and that's reserved. okay. Yeah. And, and the Irish people are just, you know, they're amazing. They're just so friendly and loving. And, and, and the, my friend Judith, like, I, I not only keep up with her, but I'm now, you know, on Facebook, I'm friends with her sister if you're friends her, with me you're fr yeah exactly and her dad and, you know i mean that uh yeah ireland's amazing i if think you, have my, you guys been there once um or? i've been there twice but it haven't been since i married todd but we have we're scottish irish so we yeah. went over to see both sides of the family and i have second uncles and i'm like I have found my people because mm -hmm. I'm always really loud and everyone's always like, Shh, could you be just a little quieter? And all of my uncles were like, it's nice to see you! I mean, mm -hmm. full volume. I'm like, these are my people, finally. And the accents Oh, well. I know. I mean, you just die for those. I, you know, it's like Scotland that we've talked about as well, but half the time you're like, I, have, I have know we're speaking the same absolutely language. Absolutely no idea what you said, but yeah. I love you. But it's in a tone of voice that's like a cannon going off in an astrodome. It's that loud mm -hmm. and it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. All right, yeah. we've we finished our Irish rhapsodization, yeah. but you yeah. should go tonight because that is fantastic. Yeah, and it's loads free. of stuff this weekend. That's and, so smart. And, and that's either you know things that are either free or you know benefit charity and or, massively involve food, and that's really yeah. the primary focus. Yeah. All righty. Now, coming up in just a couple of minutes, guys, um, we're going to tell you what's going on with Netflix, what's coming on, what's coming off. It's the thing now we all want to know. And also, this is just about time. Male birth control is finally on the market. Oh, good God. A little pill. We'll tell you about it next. <laughs> the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by Fink and McGregor. If you go to fink-mcgregor.com, there's a short four-minute quiz, and at the end of it, you can find a whole array of mortgage options, and someone will call you back from Fink and McGregor within the next business day. Also by Utah Credit Approval. Go to utahcreditapproval.com because they know that bad things happen to good people, but that shouldn't stop you from repairing your credit and getting a reliable automobile at utahcreditapproval.com. And also you, all Utah plumbing, heating, and air. John has 24-7 service because he knows that emergencies can happen any time of the day or night and right now they have a 69 dollars special to check out all your heating systems to make sure they're working well just go to allutahplumbing.com we're back we're back it is the todd and aaron noonish the guys it's the nooner the guys made me the guys made me wash the dishes because it smelled like sauerkraut. <sighs> you, it's nice sorry. to be appreciated. But you know what? The sauerkraut was delicious. It was just the Brussels sprouts that were... Mm. It was pungent. That's okay. That's okay. Anyway, Hollywood Connection brought to you by Connect Heating and Air. If you go to Utah Heating and Cooling, it's really amazing. They have 24-hour, seven-day-a-week emergency service, and they're really rather fantastic. Um, Netflix, this is kind of cool. We've been waiting for Santa Catalina Diet to come back. Right. This is the one with Drew Barrymore and Timothy Oliphant where... She finds out that she was turned into a zombie, and so she starts eating people, but she's never been more attractive, more feisty. I like her. But they're licensed realtors, so the combination is... Well, one of the, one of the nice things about it is the fact that um, uh, Netflix has given uh, a lot of actors and actresses uh, a place to 
do other projects as opposed to doing like a Pirates of the Caribbean. They get to do these little series that are really fun and they get paid for it and then they, Netflix looks cool for doing it. Did you it. know that Netflix is actually doing more original programming than Showtime, HBO, Stars, and the other one combined? They're, they're combined. Everybody, everybody's scrambling for this kind of celebrity presence on their station, on their whatever. Um, Network. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, last year, um, uh, um, um, Adam Sandler is one of the highest paid actors, and not because of the cinema. Because of Netflix, they signed a, like an eight movie deal with him. Gazillions of dollars. Because the last four sucked. I know we're heads. They didn't heads care. Tilted like a dog trying to listen for a whistle, trying to figure it out. But yeah, I mean it's it's work wrap. And anyway, so Santa Catalina Diet's coming back on in Got April it. second season. Got it. Um, Friday Night Lights. If you love that, they're revamping everything. That starts in the first. Uh, Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines. Again. Joel McHale show with Joe McHale, who is very very funny. He's starting his brand new comedy show on the first. Despicable Me 3, if you didn't want to spend all the money in the theaters, that comes out on April 5th. Um, April 6th, uh, this is interesting, David Letterman, do you remember his his show, oh, My oh, Next Guest oh, Needs I've No seen Introduction? The, I've seen the trailer for this, yeah, go ahead. He's talking to Jay-Z, right. which is going to be really, because he's been out for so long and he looks like a crazy he's, mountain guy with a beard. Got a, he's got a beard like this big, it's so awesome. I'm dying to see him back on and see, are you, are you crazy And now? he doesn't or do you have still to, have oh, it or? oh, he's still a smart ass, I mean seriously, he's always been cynical. Um, and this is so much more relaxed, and there is no time limit per se. That must be wonderful. With one guest. Oh, yeah, we get that too. That's nice too. And he gets to go and chase down people that he really wants on the show. Uh, he's had Obama, he's had incredible, incredible Huge. guests. And it's just like really interesting. And he asks questions that people don't usually ask, which is cool. Okay, if you love Boss Baby in the theaters, they actually now have it in as a series, original network series, for Back in Business Season 1. Uh, that's also on the third. Um, oh, on April 13th, Lost in Space. They're bringing back Lost in Space as they a should. Netflix original. They should. Oh, no, yes. The series? I loved Lost They're in gonna, Space. Danger, Will Robin. Yeah, Danger. right? Danger. With the, I loved not it. The, not the characters from the movie, though, right? Because that was horrible. Well, that's because they're all dead. I don't think any of them are still alive from the movie. Oh, wait, William Hurt's still alive. Never mind. Right? Yeah. Uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Whole new Nye series, Nye April 25th. Makes fun of flat earthers. I mean, I love. What about the pirates? Didn't you say something about pirates? Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Let's watch. I want to see this. Pirates of the Caribbean. Go, please. Dead Am man's I chest. Oh, I could watch that again. I'm going to. Are you in love with Kira Knightley? Just tell me if you are. It's okay. No. Because I kind of love her, too. I admire her. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, too. Fantastic. So, so the, go ahead. No, I, go ahead. The, um, one of the things, and I, and I had it at one point, I lost it. And see if you can find it. Um, and it is a complete list of all the movies on Netflix. So, in other words, if you have some time, right... And you and your partner have some time, and you want to Netflix and chill. How many times have we made this mistake? This will get you through the Netflix faster. <laughs> so no, it really. You it, can, no, here it is. You, it, you can pull it up online, and I, I lost the site. There's still too many decisions. How many times have you lost me doing that? You are not listening. I would still be scrolling through it, trying to find the right one, and then right. you would be unconscious. I have the answer to this. I, it was, that's where I was that's going. There's still too many choices. Even, this is where even I, if you gave me the list, there would be too many choices. Highlighter. Take okay. your list. I'm not done yet. You go online. You print it off. You bring it out. And during the day, you or your spouse go, oh, I like that one. Oh, that would be fun. Oh, my wife loves this one. And you highlight it. You put it by the television someplace. Or maybe at dinner, you decide prior to the event that you say, oh, which one do you want to watch? Oh, let's watch that one. Okay. So now, okay, comfortable clothes. Maybe a beverage of your choice. You get on the couch, maybe a little blanket, a pillow right in the right place, and you're sipping, and you say, oh, what was that movie we picked? That one! And then when you pull up your sheet with the 4,700 no, no, no. highlighted movies you keep that you picked from the 27,000 available, then you get into a fist fight. Did you miss the point where I said you go over that at dinner? You pre-select them at dinner. No, one. You select one. From the 47,000. listen to me? No. That seems so, like a somewhat naive what question. What I'm is you... How long have we been married? <laughs> when have... <laughs> 
Okay. Sorry. All right, Harry Potter fiends, I know you're excited with me. Fantastic Beasts. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you were saying. I know, honey. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Of course, it was an amazing movie. They've come out with number two, The Crimes of Grindelwald. And I'm so excited. That they're sounds actually, like Harry Potter. They're releasing the screenplay on November 16th to coincide with the worldwide release of the film. Now, Jude Law is going to be the, uh, the younger Albus Dumbledore. Eddie Redmayne, of course, returns as Newt. Um, and, uh, wait a minute. Wait, Grindelwald, wait, wait. the dark wizard, is played by Johnny Depp. So anyway, they're going to release the screenplay, and you can buy it in a nice little leather-bound thing on the same day as the movie comes out. Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I thought we were done with this. No. Harry Potter. Never. So this is earlier a prequel. Mm -hmm. So this is going to lead up to that. Mm -hmm. As long as J.K. keeps writing, I will keep reading. I will read anything she wants to. If she wants to send a grocery list out, I will read it. I so, will buy it and read it and keep it by my bed. So this is basically before Harry was born. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is all about this is about Newt and his adventures, and and about the you know the evolution of Albus Dumbledore and and the evil that has to be overcome. Huh. I'm so excited. I'll just wait. Quietly, so once again, patiently. start saving some money. November sixteenth, it's going to be amazing. How are you doing on the math question? Mm -hmm. Why don't you just, repeat just, it again, would you? Yeah, let's. Can we do Mike? Can we do Mike? Who likes the Mike Coldslaw? My, uh, my uh, sauerkraut. Can we pull that up again? Um, and the question is, a man bought a horse for $60. He mm -hmm. then sold it for 70 and then he... Bought it again for 80 80 and then he <laughs> sold it for 90 Did he make money, lose money, and how much? Or did he break even? That's the question. So I want you to think about that. I'm almost sure I'm right now. Erin has written her answer down on a piece of paper. You and your co-workers or you and your family all do this, uh, and you uh, can make a bet on it. Hey, coming back after Daisy, um, male birth control, a little pill. I know. It's nearly on the market. This is very exciting. But first, let's go to Daisy. She's in the Get Park Daily Newsroom. She's brought to you by Fink and McGregor. Mortgages made simple. Look, just go to fink-mcgregor.com with all the new weird interest rates, and you're freaking out. They can answer a lot of questions in four minutes, and someone will call you back within the next business day, and you can talk mortgages. Also by The Vein Clinic. Go to theveinclinic.com. I went to the Riverton location, my personal favorite. You can't believe what they can do with varicose veins now. I'm the worst possible scenario, and it was painless, and I could see the difference within like two days. Also by Always Black Friday. It's 30 to 75% off every day. Daisy, my dear, what's going on today? there and here's what's making national and world news headlines on thursday march 22nd on gephardt daily the austin texas bomber left behind an audio recording that described his explosive devices and a hit list of potential targets bombing suspect mark condit died early wednesday in round rock texas after setting off an explosion as police approached his suv Police say the cell phone recording left behind by the suspected serial bomber described the devices used in the bombings, although he did not reveal his motives for the attacks. A statement by Condit's family said they were stunned and broken that he was behind the deadly bombings. At least 29 people were killed in a suicide bombing in the Afghan capital of Kabul on Wednesday. The Islamic State terror group claimed responsibility for the attack that took place around noon and injured about 52 people. The attacker detonated the bomb near Kabul University and Aliabad Hospital, where people had gathered in celebration of the Persian New Year. At least 200 people have been killed in Kabul bombing attacks since the beginning of the year. And a New York City lawmaker proposed a bill Wednesday to ban smoking while strolling down the city sidewalk. Councilman Peter Koo of Queens said if people are going to smoke in public, they should stand in one place to avoid getting smoke in other people's faces or else be subject to a $50 fine. Smoking is already prohibited in New York City parks, bars and restaurants and public indoor spaces. And time now for a look at your Wasatch Front weather where a high wind warning is in effect. Expect wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour Thursday, along with a few scattered showers. The high temperature will be near 70. Friday, the winds die down, although we'll continue to see rain throughout the day. Temps will also cool into the 50s. Sunny skies return Sunday, along with another warming trend. That's it for now. For more news across the nation and around the world, go to GetPartDaily.com. Todd and Aaron, back to you. All right, thank you, Daisy, and welcome back to the Todd and Aaron. Uh, is it only noon so far? The Todd show? And Nooner? We don't know. Um, 
afternoon delight. I don't, that sounds, yeah. yeah. I like it just because of Ron Burgundy, but that's a hard one to carry. Uh, let's talk about Fink and McGregor really quick. Just out, who is a dear friend of ours and who is neither Fink nor McGregor, but actually owns the company, uh, decided he was really not excited about the whole constant of like 45 days to 90 days of trying to get a mortgage from a bank or from someone who really sells only one kind of mortgage. Okay, Jeff can sell you a thousand different trillion kinds of mortgages. There's like a farm mortgage for farmers. I mean, there's all kinds of different ones. The point is, if you go online to fink mcgregorcom you can answer a lot of questions. It takes about four minutes, and when you're done, it spits back a whole bunch of different options for you. You would be amazed. You can get a mortgage with a credit score as low as 600, and then someone calls you back within the next business day. Now, we've worked with Jeff for a long time, and I don't think I've ever seen a mortgage take longer than 30 days with him. And you're not spending thousands upon thousands of dollars. So just go to fink mcgregorcom It is mortgages made simple. All right. So um, any response on Facebook about the math question? I'm, I, people are, are saying they're a little intimidated to, like, bust it out there. Really? I'm just offering a prize now. What are you offering? A month pass to Magic Wash. Oh, really? Because we're doing the grand opening there next weekend. Do they have to get it correct or just put in an answer? They have to do it correct. Uh, here is some, uh, here's some good news for women everywhere. This reminds me, I used to write comedy, and I wrote this joke for um, Roseanne Barr. And I just remembered, and it's so funny that I'm reading the article now. It's talking about a male birth control pill. This is very exciting. Uh, yeah. And the joke is, now, everybody can the be joke is it only has one side effect, it's fatal. But I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, this is interesting, though. Yeah, it's a pill. They started doing injections and creams and stuff. But they said, you know what, we'll just do a pill. Um, and uh, it's called uh, DMAU because the name at Dali Kanatata is the name of the drug. It's a long time. Long That's what it looks spell. like. Yeah. Wow. It gives you the whole, like... Cellular structure, that's exciting. So so the deal is, is that how nice and funny that will be, not funny, how convenient that will be. Uh, so now now that we'll tell you about the women thing coming up. Well, you know, this is really interesting. One of the other side effects that it offers, though, is it may low, lower cholesterol, which is kind of cool because that also gives you the excuse of, well, baby, this is good for your heart, too. <laughs> right? Well, I don't think any guys would mind doing this. Well. There's another side effect. Oh. There is another side effect. Tell me. Um, and uh, it uh, blocks testosterone, and uh, no, no, no mood changes or sexual function or anything like that. Although it does decrease libido. <laughs> oh. Doesn't that kind of? <laughs> well, that's the ultimate birth control, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Like, nah, never mind. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Doesn't that seem somewhat problematic? I, I don't. Are we going to talk about the I essential guess, oil thing tomorrow or yes, today? Yes. Oh, we are tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, we'll tell you about that. I've been that. doing some research. Women. Wow. That seems. Good news for women, too. This is really going to excite you now. It'll be easier right we here. Are here soon, you go. We are soon be able, able to get oh, there you go. birth control directly from a pharmacist waiting than, rather than having to visit your doctor right. and spend hey, your well, $50 copay every time you want to obtain or renew a prescription. Or if you have no insurance. There you go. Which is even worse. So this is really cool. Governor uh, Gary Herbert just signed the measure into law yesterday. 18 and older are able to get pills, the patch, and some other contraceptive devices. Um, and this is really cool to me because, number one, it, 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 lowers, it lowers the birth rate for, um, you know, for children out of wedlock and lowers the uh, – the, it raises the age of first pregnancy, which is really important. Yeah. And, uh, and it also reduces the abortion rate. So – for me, this is like a win-win, and it also puts the control of your sexual health back in your hands. How much are birth control pills? I have no idea. I haven't had to have them for so long, I can't remember. Because Todd did the noble thing. Todd went in for the vasectomy. Twice. Men, I'm just saying, you could learn from Todd. He's an angel. Did it. But anyway, that's wonderful. I'm not done with my story yet. Oh, sorry, honey. Reversed it. Did Had it. the twins. No award, no trophy. You deserved one, honey. All I can say is when you go in for the reversal and the doctor's wearing these huge magnifying glasses like this, it doesn't make a guy feel good. Just going to say it there and leave it. So anyway. Okay, coming up next. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go ne next, and we're going to talk about... Um, 
uh, online and U of U and BYU. Top 10 baby nationwide. But in what? We'll tell you. Next. The Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is brought to you by Fink and McGregor. If you go to fink-mcgregor.com, there's a short four-minute quiz, and at the end of it, you can find a whole array of mortgage options, and someone will call you back from Fink and McGregor within the next business day. Also by Utah Credit Approval. Go to utahcreditapproval.com because they know that bad things happen to good people, but that shouldn't stop you from repairing your credit and getting a reliable automobile at utahcreditapproval.com. And also you all Utah plumbing, heating, and air. John has 24-7 service because he knows that emergencies can happen any time of the day or night. And right now they have a $69 special to check out all your heating systems to make sure they're working well. Just go to allutahplumbing.com. Here we are in back on the Todd and Aaron Hi. noon. Noon. Hey, it's noon show. It's nooner. We have yeah, no idea. We're we not no sure idea. yet. Uh, daughter screen time. This is always such a big deal for me anyway because of like self-image and body image and all the stuff that like social media does to girls now online and the bullying and stuff. But they're actually saying now there really is an actual reason now to have your younger girls cut back on Instagram and Facebook. Now they did a specific study uh, that preteen and young teen girls who spend too much time on Facebook and Instagram, also Snapchat, end up feeling worse about themselves. They say the girls who are more active on social media earlier in their adolescence right. and the amount of time they spend there appears to directly impact their happiness and lower their sense of well-being, which is really depressing. Basically what they were saying is that we found that girls interacted more on social media by the age of 10. They had worse social and emotional difficulties by the age of 15. Now they tracked over 8,000 British boys and girls who participated in the long-term study. And they're saying for boys, it didn't really have the same impact. They're like, oh, okay. She's also noted, though, there's dra dramatically less usage of social media for boys. They were more interested in games and gaming. But they said for the girls that as, as the ages went on, their self-esteem dropped by 59% within a space of five years. Because they're comparing, right? Mm-hmm. Because everybody puts out, oh, I'm in, I'm in Spain or, you know, whatever it is, all the things that are probably never look really happening. Look how skinny I am. But you want to look good. Yeah. For my hair. So that's an, I don't think I ever would let Zoe on social media attend. I think uh -huh. the standard rule from what I've read from a lot of family therapists is about 14 or 15. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Well, what it's really you? weird too, because what'd you do before, what'd you do when you were a kid when you were that age? You were supposed to be out playing right. on junk. Right. So and playing with peers and having fun and building relationships as opposed to the, the superficial uh, things that people do. It's, it's very interesting, though. It's just because they do, they were more concerned with boys than building and maintaining an online presence and a profile. See, a presence and is not a, a relationship. Exactly, but that's a big deal. That the, group. the presence and the profile, I mean, I have to be this certain thing. I have to interact and look this certain way. And if I'm not as fancy or as fabulous <coughs> as the others, then I'm, I'm less. And that's everything. Which is so sad. That's everything you teach your children not to feel. So it's good warning. All right. So being on the top of the list, once again, is it a good list? It is a bad list. U of U and BYU. What? Nice work, guys. U.S. News and World Report. They do an evaluation of graduate programs across the country so every year. That? So it means what, once someone graduates... Well, it's interesting. What, they they're get talking. A job or? Yeah, they're talking. No, graduate schools. Oh, so graduate this is going schools. on to your second thing. So <clears throat> what they were saying, uh, Utah public and private universities rank really well across most disciplines, most programs, but most are related, related rated rather below 50. Right. And so they wanted to go for some of the higher ranking ones. Um, what they found out is the Brigham Young University graduate level accounting program and the view and the University of Utah's graduate programs in nursing informatics and environmental law were in the top five nationwide top that's five. really i mean isn't that cool I mean, out of everybody yeah to, oh it, they ranked in the top five and that's like harvard yale stanford everywhere else wow so that's pretty impressive and how expensive is the U? look how smart we are in comparison state school um, well, the average tuition is probably somewhere between about $15,000 a quarter for something like Ivy League. And for University of Utah, if you're a resident, you're paying around $2,500. Should we, should we talk about the math question? Do you want to, yeah, let's talk about the math question. Talk about the math Since question. Since we're talking about graduate work, this question is for fifth graders. Read okay, it, please. Well, now, a man buys a horse for 60 bucks. He's put out 60 bucks. He sells the horse for and $70. By the way, you're all chicken not putting out Facebook what you think. Oh, uh, no, I've got is. a couple now. Right. Um, then he buys the horse back for $80, and 
and sells it again for $90. So in the end, how much money did the man make or lose, or did he break even? Now, my guess was $10, that he was up $10. Oh, wait, let me see. Kim says 20 bucks a head. Okay. Margie says he's lost 10 And Kevin says he broke even. All right, you want to read the description to this? Sure. Okay. What am I reading? Slide over. Switch. Okay. The problem to solve then, okay, I'll just move my chair did the man break even, lose money, or gain money? And if he lost or gained money, how much? Right. The answer is that he gained 20 bucks. Oh, Kim, congratulations. Nice You're the winner Kim. of the month pass for but, car washes. But tell him how. At Magic Wash. Tell him why. Well, when we approach it in a different way, though, it seems like he should only have gained 10 bucks, which is what I said. Okay. Because he spent 60, he gained 70. Right. Thus, he's got an extra $10. But then, in order to buy the horse at 80, he has to take $10 from somewhere else, so he's no longer up 10, he's even. Right. Then he sells the horse at 90 and is thus 10 up. Mm. But we do this problem with play money. We see that it is $20 that we gain, but when we sit back and try to figure out why this other answer is incorrect, we <laughs> run into problems. We can't seem to explain why the solution does not work by just saying it doesn't work, but the other one does. <coughs> so they say, and this comes from a mathematician, a professor. Here we go. And he says this. Here's where the mistake lies. Let's assume the bill, the guy buying and selling the horses, has 60 bucks at the beginning of this little horse trading episode. Right. So he spends it on the horse. Then he gets 70 bucks for it. Now, if he wants to buy it again for 80, you're right that he has to borrow 10 bucks from someone else. Uh, but then we have to keep track of this debt. So he's not even now. He's actually minus 10 bucks. Well, then he gets 90 bucks back, $90 for the horse. But since he was minus 10, the net effect of getting that 90 is to make him think he has $80. <laughs> Since he started out with 60 and he has 80 in the end. This is not a good bar test, by the, the way. The overall effect was to gain $20. <coughs> so what is the answer? $20. $20 and is the answer. I have a migraine. Just from trying. I still swear it's 10 Okay, so so if you if you Google man sells a horse for $60, answer, it, it'll come up on Google and you have this. So when And you there's fairly vehement arguments, too, people accusing him of lying. It's $10 and I don't know why you can't see that. So when you make a bet with someone, you can stick it in their face and take their $20 and buy a horse. And there. buy a horse for $10. Aaron is such a good sport because the other day when it had snowed, uh, I saw this thing on Facebook and it is, you got to do this. It's really cool. So what you need is... Um, like eight inches of snow packed up on a table or something. Not mm -hmm. packed, just fallen, right? And you need it to be that snowball kind of snow, that heavy, wetter kind of snow. And the deal is you go out and you take your face, you'll see, and you press it into the snow and then you pull it out and there is a perfect relief of your face. Matter of fact, if you shine a light across while you're filming, it almost looks... Like, like it's 3D. It's an incredible thing. So we had some friends over for dinner, and I thought it had Our snowed. friends, Jen and Ryan. And it snowed about eight inches, and I went, this will be great. There was one problem. Uh, it was colder. So this is what it, it looked like. It's really cold. All right, so this is the, this is the, fl the f all right, so this is the snow face plant challenge. Erin, are you excited about this? Wow, so much I can hardly stand Are you it. cold? Can you feel the excitement radiating from my body? Well, soon, this is what we want you to do. We want you to stick your face in the snow, and we're going to make a mask of it. Are you ready? Yeah. One. You guys, two. Three. Three. Go. Mm, not so good. I'm good! <laughs> sure. Let me see your face. It's Let me see your face. It's cold. I'm cold. Okay. Okay. Not sure. Did that work out well? Faster, faster. Right, it's okay. It's, it's your fine. turn. All right, this is Jen. All right, Jen. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of brisk, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Right? You know, this isn't like on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow! I just watched. <laughs> did, you, did you did you walk into the glass? I had my head down. Okay. <laughs> Okay, sorry. All right, good. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Ryan, Ryan, we're not going to do this. <laughs> right? Is that okay? I'm fine with that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at these for a second. No, it would have been better earlier today, but 
there's no definition at no. all. All right, so we don't get beat up, okay? Um, <laughs> take a little snow, take a little snow, and put it on your face like uh -huh. this. Like, look, look, see, like this. Yeah, that, that's it. Oh, okay. Go and say it's really cold. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh! Oh, Ryan! Holy mackerel, right? Oh, that sucked. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. Okay. <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, the internet lies, don't they? Was that horrible? Ooh, that was horrible, wasn't it? Oh, man. Okay. You guys didn't put your faces in, did you? Yeah, we did. We did. Snow facial and everything. You lying? <laughs> <laughs> Can we show just the part where Aaron walks into the glass door, please? Do you have that? Did you walk into the glass? <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, good. Oh, my gosh. Such a treat. Did you did you did you walk into the class? Okay, sorry. Alright, good. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Ryan. What it is. And thanks for being on Facebook with us. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. That would be Friday. See ya.